Welcome to our section, Processing Raw Text with NLTK. Now that you're comfortable importing and accessing text datasets in NLTK, it is finally time for us to really dive in and start manipulating raw text. So far, we've learned how to create or import a text dataset to work with, and we've used frequency distributions to gain basic insights from our text data. Now we're ready to go deeper, and we'll demonstrate the building blocks needed to begin complex natural language processing tasks. We'll start off this section by discussing pipelines and how pipelines can come in handy as we work through text processing tasks. Then we'll introduce tokenization and show how tokenization is used to break down text into bits and pieces that we can work with. Finally, we'll talk about regular expressions and demonstrate how they can be used to search for specific lexical constructs. So let's get started with our first topic, working with an NLP pipeline. In this video, we're going to explain why pipelines are useful in the context of natural language processing, and we'll introduce the elements of a basic NLP workflow. Then, we'll walk through an example to demonstrate how a pipeline can be constructed using Python and NLTK. Hopefully, by the end of the video, you'll see why pipelines are a powerful way to approach tasks that need to be repeated on a regular basis. Okay, so why would we think about natural language processing as a pipeline? Well, it's important to understand that when we want to uncover insights from text datasets using NLP, we will often need to complete numerous tasks in a sequential manner. For example, a typical workflow might involve importing text data, removing words and symbols that don't distinguish the meaning of the text, reducing words to their base forms, and then moving on to more detailed analysis like performing latent semantic analysis to analyze relationships between a set of documents and the terms that they contain. Now, what's important to note here is that many of these operations you'll do on a regular basis, regardless of the specific detailed analysis you intend to ultimately apply. And so it's for this reason that we might want to create a pipeline or a template that sets up the basic operations, and we can easily use it again and again on different projects. A pipeline has three basic components. A source, which is the initial source of the data. The pipeline itself, where operations are performed on the input and a sync, where we store or display the results of the pipeline. For this exercise, we'll create a pipeline that performs the most common operations on a sample data set. Our example will pass source data into our pipeline, where we'll apply sentence and word tokenization, part of speech tagging, and named entity recognition. If you're not sure what some of these operations do, don't worry too much for now. We'll be explaining in more detail as the course progresses. Let's get started and open a Jupyter Notebook by launching the command prompt and typing Jupyter Notebook and pressing Enter. Now we'll click New, Python 3, and open up our new Jupyter Notebook. First, we'll create a data set. For this one, let's copy a paragraph from Wikipedia. And I'm going to copy the first paragraph for the entry, Golden Retriever, because that's the kind of dog I have. We'll define a variable for our text data set like this, and we'll call it Texts. The triple quotations we'll use denote a string literal in Python, which automatically includes end of lines when the text spans multiple lines. So if we want to use new lines to display the text more naturally, we don't need to add them. Let's try it. First, we'll import NLTK, and we'll create our variable texts with square brackets using the triple quotations, and we'll copy and paste the data from our Wikipedia page. And if we want to go ahead and break this across a couple lines, we can click here. Press Enter, can do it again, and we can continue to do this until all of the text shows up on our page. There we go, now we can see all of the text that we're going to use for this project. We'll execute this cell by pressing Shift plus Enter. Now we can create our pipeline where all of the processing tasks are performed. The first function that we'll use performs sentence tokenization, which gives us a list of the sentences in the text. The second function we'll use does word tokenization, which gives us a list of words in the text. The third function performs part of speech tagging to assign a part of speech to each word. And finally, the last function performs named entity recognition. And all along the way, we'll print this to the screen. We can do all this and create our simple pipeline by typing for text in text with a colon, and then sentences, a variable equal to NLTK.SentTokenize, and we'll pass in text into the parentheses, and then for sentence in sentences with a colon, words equals NLTK.Word, tokenize, and we'll pass in sentences into the closed parentheses, and then tagged words equals NLTK.Tagged 
position tag, POS underscore tag, and we'll pass in words to the parentheses. In E, tagged words equals NLTK dot NE chunked, and we'll pass in tagged words to the parentheses. And finally, we'll print all of these to the screen. And we can execute this again by pressing Shift plus Enter. And we can see here that the output reflects our pipeline where the text has been tokenized into individual sentences, words, and named entities, and each word has been assigned a part of speech. As you can see, it is incredibly simple to create a basic natural language processing pipeline. In practice, you may find that coroutines can be used for each task in a pipeline in order to gain more flexibility. There are plenty of examples online showing how you can do this with coroutines, and I recommend that you take a look when you're ready for a more advanced approach. You should now be comfortable creating a simple NLP pipeline, and I think that you'll find that pipelines are a valuable tool for saving time and for streamlining your frequently used processing tasks. That wraps up our introduction to working with NLP pipelines.